Here's a photo of a 1919 AB model car. So this is the inspiration for this cycle cart. So from this photograph and a couple others, I did an initial scale sketch to make sure it would, you know, scale out okay um, with respect to a cycle cart. So this is one inch to the foot drawing. After I had this drawing done, then I refined it with this drawing, give me a direction to go here. And there'll be some changes along the way. So when I was happy with the uh, drawing, the final drawing, then I transferred it to a piece of particle board. Since the drawing is one inch to the foot and a cycle cart is approximately eight feet long, I used a piece of eight foot particle board. So this is a full-size drawing of my sketches. And you can see it's kind of boogered up because uh, if you've ever built any radio control airplanes, you build the plane over the plan. So uh, this I built on top of the wood and it got a little boogered up. But I, I have measured this countless times while I was building The chassis. I laid this chassis over the top of the drawing just to verify I used it kind of like I say countless times to make sure I was on track. On the other side of this board I have a top view or a plan view so in a second here I'll flip it over but this worked out pretty well. I've made some minor modifications to the body lines but the chassis is pretty much as drawn, uh, the motor ended up being a little bit higher than I show here, but not by much. So, worked out pretty good. So now I'll flip it over and show you the other side. All right, so this is a plan view, looking down on the top of the frame. And when I built the frame, I laid the, the metal steel pieces right over my drawing, clamped it down, and welded it. Well, it was uh, so I could make sure I kept it straight and true. So if you do the uh, full-size drawing right, then your frame's going to turn out good. And you can see some weld burns from the process, but that's all right. It's expendable. And that's pretty much where the motor ended up being. I uh, changed the seating position ever so slightly. And the dash position, uh, there was a little modification there, but not much. And then... The, the front here. There's where I, I notched it so the frame would sit, sit down. There's the front axle, the pedals. Now I, I moved them a little further inboard, the, the pedal mounts and the pedals, because I decided to narrow the body to look more like the car. So it's slightly more inboard than the drawing. But it worked out pretty good. So I think that's a pretty good way to build a cycle cart. You do some drawings, draw it out full size. Because I, I played with this drawing, took me a couple of evenings till I was happy with it, just erased it and kept drawing. So uh, that's a good way, I think, to get a, a cart off the dime. Now I'm going to take the new cycle cart out in the yard and do a walk around video so you can get a good look at it in the sunlight and uh, there's old number 27 good old cycle cart got a lot of a lot of uh, hours on that cart and it's a it works out real good so uh, now I'll take it out in the yard and do my walk around and then I'll have a video uh, driving it here in a little while also so here's my latest cycle cart creation. This is going to be a 1919 AV monocar. Now the chassis is a typical Stevenson formula. It's got a 1x3 frame, uh, the typical front axle that the Stevens use, uh, inch and 5 eighths diameter. It's using the Honda CT90 rims and the Honda GX200 motor. So here's the standard 200cc, 6.5 horsepower GX200. There's the torque converter. Got a 6 inch disc and caliper. Got a 60 tooth sprocket. 
This is a rear wheel to a Honda CT90. And this is a front rim to a Honda CT90. This is all uh, typical Asusa go-kart components, pedals, steering rod, or steering shaft, the hind joints. Here I bored out the hubs for uh, roller bearings. And then I also bushed the spindle so there's just no slop in this front end. Typical Asusa tie rods. This is a eighth inch steel bracket here. Then up here another eighth inch steel bracket tied into this quarter inch aluminum structure here that mount that holds the dash and the steering column. It's got a half inch maple plywood tub. It's five inches below the chassis. This is a high density foam which I'll cover later. This is your typical Asusa steering wheel. These are some little cutouts for my heels because my legs would flop around in my other cycle cart. There's the throttle set up here. Northern, this is out of Northern Tool. And they provide a little PDF drawing of this setup here. And that goes right back to a real simple setup. And then I made this little bracket here that holds a return spring so they get make sure it closes off. There you can see the Cable comes down from under the frame, works its way up, right into there. The brake setup, quarter inch rod, simple return spring, just some brackets, real, real basic, works real well, nice and stout, and uh, that runs back to a six inch disc. and then to a clevis that's under here. A clevis connection. These are bearings right out of the Asusa catalog, Northern Tool. And basically, my goal was to create a running and driving chassis so that I could have some fun driving it because it takes a while to build the body, or at least it did on my first cart. But uh, I had a five week goal of getting this chassis done. I was gone a week traveling, so it took me uh, one month to put this together. Of course, it helps if you've already built the cycle cart. Oh yeah, and this uh, front suspension is uh, Angle's Coat Shop. You know, there springs off of a, up the seat in a, in a horse drawn carriage. I'm only using a single leaf instead of a double on my other cart and so it's got a lot better travel and that does seem to make it steer and ride a lot better having some suspension. So in a little bit we'll, I'll put together a video running around the yard here. So my next goal is to build an all aluminum body. Um, if you've been following the photos, I've been working on a cardboard mock-up of the body, still trying to refine that. But uh, I've already driven it around the house a couple times. Had to strengthen the uh, motor mount. I added these bars here. This is now nice and stout because there was a little bit of flex in the motor so the chain would come off. But I got that problem solved. And it runs smooth, tracks real nice. Should be a real nice cycle cart. Like I said before, this is a Stevenson chassis. Uh, nothing special, nothing fancy, real simple. A guy could put this together in nothing flat and uh, put, geez, anybody he wanted on it. So uh, I'm building it low and fast. Uh, 
and uh, all aluminum body. I wanted to try aluminum uh, where my last card I did did a wood body. So uh, in a few minutes I'll have uh, some video of the uh, test drive around the house.